You know, we were just sitting in there uh, in the in the orbital module, uh, waiting for the the checks downstairs, and and we were thinking this looks exactly like in our training modules. So you kind of think it's you're used to that, but actually we said, hey, take a step back. This is our real spaceship, and that's an amazing feeling. And then we gave a good high five. Yes. <laughs> Maxim. This is your rocket. Are you excited? Can you possibly look at that and not be excited? Very excited. It's great. Where is it? I, 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 I have never been.
One veteran, two first-time flyers for this crew. How prepared are they, and how complex will this mission be? Absolutely, Rob. It's, uh, it's been great to actually see how well Reed, Alex, and Max Sarayev are prepared for this mission. I've spent the last couple of days in the Cosmonaut Hotel, and they're just, uh, their preparations have just been excellent. I know uh, everybody looks at a crew that's got a couple of rookies and uh, considers are they ready, but uh, they're ready for the complex mission that we have in, out in front of them. They're ready to join Swanee and the rest of the cosmonauts on board uh, Space Station and get started with Expedition. It's got everything uh, you want and more, spacewalks, visiting vehicles, science galore. Uh, how complicated will it be? It'll certainly be a very, very complicated. It's really a big shell game to try to get all the pieces in the right order to make sure you're prepared for everything when the, when the right time comes. But I know this crew is up to it and we're really looking forward to watching them work. We're just two weeks removed from a Soyuz landing and here we are back in Kazakhstan, Soyuz vehicle behind you poised for launch. Uh, as, you, as you look ahead, a trilateral mission, critical mission to the International Space Station, what are your thoughts as you stand on this historic launch pad that Yuri Gagarin launched from over a half century ago? We are in a busy time period um, for the space station right now. 37S, you mentioned, just landed. We took uh, a couple weeks ago, SpaceX just landed uh, in the in Pacific, we got uh, all the commercial cargo back uh, back into the principal investigator's hands, which was great. And now we're here. We're ready to go from a crew size of three to get back up to a crew size of six. Dan, how do you, in your own mind, view uh, this uh, from a personal sense of history and 
a sense of the importance at this moment in the space station program? Yeah, it's, it's been incredible. We've been at this for 15 years, 13 years continuous, uh, continuously manned. You know, 90,000 orbits of the space station. We're, we're constantly learning new ways of how to advance technology for the exploration program. And so it's just been a, a remarkable uh, partnership and we're looking for many, many years to come to keep on demonstrating uh, the technology that we'll need to go further. We have a crew, uh, one veteran, two first time flyers. They've been training for quite a while for this mission and it's got a little bit of everything that lies ahead over the next six months. How complex will this be, and how critical is the mission for the station? Yeah, we're going to we're going to put their training to work. We've got uh, uh, three EVAs on, on the U.S. side that we need to conduct uh, by the August time period. Um, we got some work to do still in our EMU suit to get cleared, uh, and then there's also a couple Russian EVAs as well that are in uh, coming up uh, be, before August as well. So there's a lot of activity. We've got new and exciting research coming up on board the space station. Cases is bringing a lot of uh, experiments to the table. Uh, we're going to keep the crew extremely busy, not only conducting the EVAs, uh, but also in a full, full research campaign mode. So looking forward to it. Bill Gerstenmeyer, NASA's Associate Administrator for Space Flight Operations. Bill, back at Baikonur, Soyuz rocket behind you, poised for launch. A trilateral launch, critical to the space station, complex mission coming up for these three crew members. How important is this and what is your perspective on what it means as uh, we are well into the second decade of this partnership. Yeah, again, it's a, a tremendous uh, accomplishment for the partnership to have everyone here and ready to go support and ready to get ready to go fly. You know, the Russian commander and the U.S. crew member and the German as part of the European Space Agency are just a tremendous team. Uh, you know, when you get a chance to really talk and meet this team, again, we've really pulled together the best from all these countries to work together and go to this tremendous facility, the International Space Station. As you described, just a tremendous amount of activity occurring on board Space Station, just a lot of research getting done. Um, this facility will be really a tremendous benefit to all of us here on the Earth. And it's, it's great to see the partnership come together. It's great to see the, the three countries and the three groups really come together in the partnership. And just a tremendous time again as, as we're here in Baikonur getting ready for another launch. But meeting with Roscosmos and Energia top management, you have a better sense than almost anybody as to how strong and how robust this all is at this point in time. Is it remarkable though, even at this point, at this age of the space station, how well uh, put together the partnership is and, and how the station is functioning? Yeah, again, I think that, you know, the technical challenge of the space station is just really, really large and it, it takes people from all around the world to make this space station work and, and sometimes it appears trivial and it appears easy, but the technical challenges are just huge. And, and to really come together and work and figure out creative ways to solve solutions that, that may actually be harder for your country or your group, but to figure out a way to actually solve this technical problem as a team is just tremendous. So the teamwork has grown over the years as the challenges are there, the team has really come together and strong. And, and even at this time where it's a little shaky overall politically and other areas, there's still a tremendous spirit of how can we accomplish this they see the greater purpose of what we're doing in space and and we can be a model for others of how real teams can work together despite challenging times and despite technical challenges that come forward we're approaching 14 years 14 years of a continuous u.s uh, american and international partner presence on board the international space station how impressive is that uh, even for the layman to understand and to grasp yeah, it's it's amazing for me when I think about we've you know we've essentially had human beings off the planet of the Earth for 14 consecutive years, and and to think there's kids that are you know 13 years old that have lived a life a full life to 13 years without having any other knowledge. They just think of people being off of the Earth and and, and working in space, and it's just come as almost normal. I think us in the industry, we don't quite see it that way. It, it appears normal on the outside, but we have lots of challenges every day with new things and, and new things that rise. But again, we work together through those challenges and tremendous things can be accomplished. So again, you know, as one of the cruise expedition patches said, you know, off the earth for the earth, that is truly what we're doing here. We have crews on orbit, but they're really doing activities and research that benefits every one of us here on the earth. So, so this, these 14 years have been tremendous. They've really stretched the partnership. We've grown. 
but I think the next years in the future will even yield bigger benefits for us here on the Earth. So I look forward to those continuing presence off the Earth and, and hopefully someday we push human presence into the solar system and move beyond low Earth orbit. And I clearly believe we will do that internationally. So what do you think of being here? Because you, you kind of opened up doors just after Sigmund, the then you were here. Well, I mean, that is a unique place for all of us. Uh, the launch site, I mean, uh, from where we lifted off and went to orbit, it's a very special place. And on top of that, it's the same one from you, from where Yuri Gagarin was also sent up to orbit. And uh, it's a very historical uh, area. You, you can, you, you, you've been flying with the shuttle, flying with the Soyuz, you're back here. I've things evolved a lot, in fact, if you look at uh, what's happened on those past years. Oh yes, I mean, I'm, I guess within the ESA program, I could probably say I'm Mr. Space Lab because I participated in two flights and I was around when the whole uh, system was developed. And now we have the space station, which is of course a big, big step forward. It is a system which allows us to do research work day in, day out, around the clock and in space lab it was 10 days and then the whole uh, chance was gone and the shuttle had to come back. For that reason I think um, there's a big uh, evolution and from my point of view the space station is also kind of a tool to build up experience how to supply all the consumables to the crew, keep them in good health and in good spirit that is know-how we need to continue to further objects like Mars. And in fact, when you think about it, what you did with Space Lab was something putting the basis, Space Lab and Mir, and then we've got ISS. You know, it's, uh... <laughs> yes, and in fact, I mean, I was uh, also on Mir, so I know a little bit uh, how work and life on the station looks like. Um, yes, I think uh, I could proudly say I'm one of the pioneers within the ESA program at least and um, I'm now of course also very uh, pleased that younger colleagues uh, continue what we started uh, more than 20 years ago. And if I tell you you are a backup you need to go uh, tomorrow will you go? Sure <laughs> if you buy me a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss it? Well, okay, I mean, you have to be realistic. It's time now for the next generation to continue what we started. But, uh, I mean, if there would be if some uh, ghost coming over me such a chance, I wouldn't say no.